back on Project Zomboid. And this time, we're spending time in the life of Sandra Torres, a young security guard. Okay, so... God, it's gonna be so bad because the heart is basically just thumping in the chest continuously. Outside though, she doesn't calm down with what's going Yes, so unfortunately, I uh, I wasn't fully aware of, of how accurate that previous statement was. The fact that she's just constantly extremely panicked with inside a house or inside a car or inside anything. Um, massive oversight with random attributes. She has claustrophobia, which renders sleep, resting, anything like that completely impossible inside. So, uh, for obvious reasons, this playthrough is a very short life in this lifetime of uh, Miss Torres here. Um... Yeah, mainly because, not, not to spoil it, but uh, she has to sleep outside and gets chewed on. So, yeah. Uh, this was mainly just a, a an update video, to be honest. There's going to be almost no footage in it at all. Main reason I wanted to post it is to let you know I'm not going to be doing truly random attributes going forward. Um, if there's any attribute that is likely, like claustrophobia, to basically prevent a, a staple function of the game. I mean, don't be wrong, I could have played around it, and I would have had to go all the way some to, to find the nearest medical supplies for some sleeping tablets, maybe. But I don't know the maps. It's been years since I've played this. So I have absolutely no idea where I am in relation to anything on the map. So I would have just been wandering around aimlessly which wouldn't have made for particularly good recording anyway. So I just decided basically to, after she, she'd been bitten anyway, so that's a guaranteed conversion to a zombie. So I knew it was game over anyway when she got bit. But it's like, I think in the standard default settings under under what it game classifies as realistic zombies, I think it's two to 30 days to become zombified. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna waste anyone's time with that i it's pointless if you get bit that's it you're dead as far as i'm concerned so i just took the bandages off and let her bleed out because it was quicker than waiting a theoretical month so. yeah so i'm just gonna play a massive chunk of the footage i did get on fast forward you can see me wander around get ridiculously confused when she gets drowsy but i can't make her sleep um and then i'll uh bring it back to uh, the last few few seconds of her life when she decides to sleep in a garden chair uh, so so far the uh, the life of the first two people has not ended well at all but anyhow here's the rest of the footage appreciate you joining and then i shall catch up with you at the end Oh, I'm not sure how I can sleep. <laughs> because I'm too panicked to sleep. But I honestly also don't know how I'm going to sleep.
unless they don't know what to do. Okay, so this playthrough is officially boobard. is not gonna end all. Told you it wasn't gonna end well. Didn't have a choice there. She wouldn't sleep anywhere else. I apologize again that that was such a short lived one. Um, I'm guessing the idea of doing random townsfolk is okay up until they get a ridiculously game breaking. So, I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to be a little picky over which random attributes we get. So, but yeah, unfortunately. That's the end of uh, Sandra. Basically, she's had such a severe case of claustrophobia that she wouldn't sleep inside when we got killed. Yeah, so as I said, unfortunately, that's just the way it was with this one. So now it's going to be a pseudo-random sort of approach to the townsfolk. So, again... Apologies it was a short one and that literally it was a single episode live, um, but I appreciate you joining me and hope to see you next time for another set of Project Zomboid diaries basically in the life of the next townsperson.